Hello and welcome to Express Drives. Today we are in Goa and we have the brand new sleek, suave, aerodynamic Maruti Suzuki Franks. Hey, this is Blano. What are you doing? We are shooting. But this is Blano, right? No, this is Blano. Please go there. This is Blano. I'm sorry about that, but yes, that is a misconception people have. It is not the Baleno, it is based on the Baleno, but this is the brand new, suave looking coupe SUV. And Maruti is hoping that this Franks will help the company get almost 50% or more shares in the SUV market. So let's find out, does it have that SUV characteristics that you're looking for and also its capability? So this is a Nexa Experience product. It's quite evident because of its design language. You can see that the grille itself, it is extremely, extremely like the Grand Vitara and the Baleno. As you mentioned earlier, it is based on the Baleno, but it is a complete new different product. Now this Coupe SUV has this imposing look, but also has a very sophisticated look and that's thanks to the split headlamp design. It has this beautiful looking um, LED DRLs on top and then below is a three prong uh, headlamps that is available. It also comes with a silver lower lip finish to give you that macho look. Now that is what the front looks like. From the side, that's where things start becoming a little bit more muscular because of the wheel arches, they are square in shape. Maruti wants to, you know, show and flex the biceps of this vehicle. So in uh, the side profile, it looks again very aerodynamic because that's where you see that swooping um, roof line at the same time, the bulging um, wheel arches as well. And before we forget, it comes with 16 inch alloy wheels, the dual tone ones. These are brand new designs, uh, the first for a Maruti and it also looks better when you go in the rear because it has this beautiful thick looking connecting rear tail lamps. These are LED lamps again. They look very, very urban. They look very chic. And I would say that, you know, it's actually one of the better looking vehicles that Maruti has come out with. Sure, it's based on the Baleno, the design wise, I'm saying based on the Baleno and the Grand Vitara, but I think in some ways it muscles both them out because it looks a lot better. Anyways, why don't you let us know what you think? Does this actually beat the other two vehicles or not? So now let's find out the boot capacity. And here's a bit of a bad news. This has a capacity of 308 liters. That is 10 liters less than the Baleno. But if you take a look inside, it is fairly deep and it comes with a jack compartment right here. So this is a very accessible and a very practical way of going about it. You just open it and you can take the jack out. Also, the other thing is it also comes with a boot light right here. So at night, when you have to take out anything, there's plenty of light. So this is what the boot is all about. But yes, just one more thing. You can see the loading capacity, the loading height, sorry. The lip is fairly high. So that is something that you have to keep in mind. But again, the capacity inside might not be the best, but it certainly has more than enough space. So when you step inside the fronks, the cabin looks very familiar because there are lots of parts that's been that's right, been borrowed by the Baleno. But they have again spruced up the interiors, like it's got that uh, dual tone uh, interiors, the black and Bordeaux. It's got this dull metal finish right here. It actually looks quite premium. And the best part is it's not that typical glossy uh, chrome. But in case you still like uh, glossy chrome, well, the door handles are. So they have balanced it out. There's a lot of... Uh, piano black finish as well, like the center console, even the switches right here on the uh, on the door. So again, they have mixed match a lot of things and it looks very classy. The uh, armrest right here, it has that soft leather finish. Apart from that, it's all hard plastic, but well built nonetheless. Now it comes with a nine inch floating touchscreen. This is the top of the line version that we are talking about. It comes with also a six speaker Archimedes music system so it's a premium music system they have left no stone unturned now on top of that it comes with the regular gadgets and gizmos or the features that you want like you have your uh, steering mounted uh, commands like voice command 
uh, and uh, you also have uh, you know cruise control so there are lots of other things that are available it is also leather wrapped but the cake that it takes or the cherry on top is the head up display we have seen this in the beleno and now that has also been um, borrowed in the fronks that is a very very helpful little feature a lot of people overlook it but it's actually a feature that is on the safety uh, part um, apart from that yes it also comes with uh, apple carplay android auto all wireless the top of the rear line range you have a 12 volt socket um, a fast uh, charge uh, usb port and of course you have the wireless phone right here so it is actually quite spacious it is quite comfortable the seats are also fairly decently built they are a little bit more on the softer side a little bit spongy but then that's how usually maruti uh, seats are you can actually go ahead and get a nice thick upholstery and that should offer very decent uh, support so this is all that it is about uh, the front let's take a look at the rear and see does it have enough headroom because that is the magic question right there as you can see the rear also has decent space and you really can't complain much the first thing is the roof line it does kind of cut in so if you're like five feet nine my height it's just about right if you are six yeah then it's going to be a problem for you um, also the seats are fairly flat and uh, it doesn't have the under thigh support so on long drives you might want to just stretch your legs and get that additional support so that's what the rear is all about and uh, yes it comes with the uh, rear ac vents again two charging ports one is a fast charging port so you have the basic uh, functions that is needed and and yes it does not come with an armrest and uh, it also misses out on two three other important functions like it doesn't come with a sunroof and it doesn't come with front ventilated seats which is really important in are humid conditions weather conditions so that's something that will be severely missed the fronks is available in two engines the 1.2 liter naturally aspirated one and of course the 1 liter turbo petrol now the naturally aspirated one is the same that's uh, also powers the beleno now the 1 liter turbo it churns out uh, 99 bhp of power and 148 nm of torque this was the same engine that used to uh, be available with the beleno rs uh, it was available briefly because um, it was an expensive proposition the engine at that point in time was imported fully now maruti has made it a lot more localized and they now also re have realized the importance of having a turbo petrol engine so it is now more mass uh, market so our first impressions of the engine well the first thing that you notice is how refined it is it is not at all noisy we have revved it past 3000 rpm and there is very little sound of course there is engine noise but nothing that you know would uh, be harsh on the ears absolutely not it is extremely refined the other thing is that even though it has a healthy torque it does not really offer that power that keeps rushing in you know it doesn't do that it has a very linear way of uh, tackling or providing power even though you can drive the car at as low as 700 uh, rpm that's where the torque keeps um, giving you that pull pull power but It, it's not zippy it is very measured it is very refined very smooth but like its competition where you know it offers a bit of a breakneck speed it doesn't do that um why so because well maruti suzuki's dna is all about keeping a firm eye on fuel efficiency and that is exactly the reason why it uh, could have felt a bit more faster but if you drive it on a day to day basis Yeah, there is no real issues as such i mean if you want to uh put push the pedal to the metal then yeah you might not be able to uh you know get that much of a response but it's more than enough um also because of the healthy torque 
you can drive it in the city very comfortably uh, also the transmission the gear ratios are on the taller side keeping of course fuel economy in mind but as we are driving the five speed manual what that helps us in driving is that we don't need to keep changing gears you know don't have to keep fidgeting with the gears uh, you can put it in second or third gear and you can drive it you know easily at 3000 rpm to and a half thousand 3000 rpm it doesn't feel stressed one bit now where does the power actually start you know increasing it's around two and a half three thousand rpm that's where you feel that you know the engine is waking up it's more responsive uh, but again as we said it before it's all about fuel economy and refinement what is the ride quality now the ride quality is on the softer side but it's not like as it will wallow over you know some dips or nothing like that it, it's quite stable so it offers a very decent ride quality like right now we just went over a, a, a speed breaker so it wasn't too firm that you know you're thrown across at the same time it's not wallowy and soft either so it is something that uh, the rear passengers will definitely enjoy So after driving the Franks for over a day and that too on winding roads of Goa, it's actually quite an experience because it's not the Baleno. So guys, you have to go beyond that. It is an SUV of sorts. It's more of an urban SUV because it has a ground clearance of 190 mm, which the Baleno cannot offer. So what is it in a total package? Well, we found the one liter turbo petrol, very smooth, very refined. Could have been a bit more responsive but in your day-to-day -day driving style it is very much apt it is also very fuel efficient at the same time and as a car it is very spacious it has got all the features that you need may it be comfort creatures may it be your safety features and when it comes to looks well it is unique so this coupe suv is something for those who want to stand out and also a great great option for those SUV buyers who might be the first time buyers. Now, is Maruti going to come out with a CNG version? They haven't mentioned it yet, but you can expect one. Will a hybrid version come out? No, that's not going to happen because of the hard tech platform. So it's not going to be there, but CNG is definitely going to be there. As a whole, the price that we expect it to be somewhere in the region of seven, seven and a half, starting off to almost 12. So it'll be slotted below the Brezza and just higher than the Baleno. Mm -hmm.